and now he's just a head with a skull with a spine. Ouch. No shit. Shatters. And he's still paying because he doesn't get his family and clan back because he decided to kill him. Despite my efforts, my vision has come to pass. With an unfortunate end, he once defended Earthrealm from the Nether Realm armies of Shinnok and Fox. Which is Mortal Kombat Chronicles. Sub Zero's fate is his own doing. His own doing? The Lin Kuei have a history of making ruinous choices. Such as the Cyber Initiative. <laughs> I am among those speaking out against the Grandmaster's plan. Surgically transform the Lin Kuei into glorified robots. It kills our intuition, our instincts. Did you speak out against the Lin Kuei's participation in this tournament? You were invited by Shen Tsung. He pays you to kill Earthrealm warriors, betraying your own realm? I expect better, even from an assassin. My loyalty <laughs> is to the Grandmaster. I really do like the for Shane the writing of this. The end of and the Take this moment to applaud the screen, the, the writers for the story mode. Okay, that's it. So yeah, next chapter, Cyrax. So yeah, they also have two versions of the pet, one at night and one at day. But for now... What are you doing? I am not here to fight you. I am assigned to kill Johnny Cage. Shang Tsung no longer has need of me. What do you mean? He is terminating your need. And you... So yeah, in this one you get the background of a volcano blowing up. Pretty badass. Okay, I forget some of his moves and I should probably run. Because of the jump attack. So yeah, you can use bombs. Circle button, net, teleport, buzzsaw, reverse kick, and right doll. Uh -huh. The reverse, yeah, the reverse rag doll is a bit difficult because the fact that the grab button is two buttons in this, but but yeah, if you use the net, you can do his X-ray attack easily. Oh. Uh. Okay, how do you do this? There we go. It's kinda hard to beat a guy with a buzz saw. Uh. Round two. Fight! So yeah, I really do like C Cyrus. I don't know, it's... Maybe it's the buzzsaw. Maybe it's the bombs, but I just like the guy. <laughs> and that takes Tereshiva. I need to have a talk with your master. This fight is not over. <laughs> you mean to finish me? You couldn't even stop the act. I love the burns in this, like it's... They are actually pretty witty. You couldn't even stop the actor. Uh -huh. I think it'd be harder to block a buzzsaw, honestly. But then again, when it's when is Mortal Kombat been about logic? Oh, I just... Did not mean to use my breaker. Okay, hopefully I can kill the rock easily. Oh, 
Hammer blows up. Yeah, he has a okay anti-air. Does he also have a jump? Oh. <laughs> Round two. Five. Hmm. So yeah, if the car is in the air, you can do that, and you'll grab and just slam him down to the ground. Very painful. And extra attack. I really am trying to keep this commentary alive, but... It's kind of hard when you have no idea to talk about it. I mean, it's Mortal Kombat. I've got to have more to talk about than this. Oh! Okay. Seriously, how the hell can you win a fight after getting stabbed through the face? Like, I mean, come on, man. Yeah, you can strategize with the bombs. Now this fight is over. Shang Tsung has turned on you. I need to find out why. So it really is interesting seeing how Raiden tries to change everything to save the future, considering it's about seven games down the line. Sector, we need to talk. Our hosts tried to have you killed. You were speaking with the Thunder God. Your indiscretion has jeopardized my plan. Cyrax is the way. He will complete his task. We shall see. The next match will be Cyrax versus Johnny Cage. What, me? All right, then. Ah, huh, this is going to be everyone. Who gets to rumble with a celebrity? Ready for your beatdown, So, sunshine? you guys see basically all the characters alternate and main costumes. Like, you guys can see Johnny Cage got out his tuxedo, and he has his name tattooed on his chest. There are really not that many more egotistical things you can do. Other than tattooing your own name across your chest and having your last name on the belt. Literally speaking, he labels himself Johnny Cage. Like, oh shit, that's my name. I really much want to saw that thing off. If only that would remove it. how he keeps his sunglasses on for the entire thing. Uh, I really do kind of like smoke. Spyrax's design like this, because it actually does kind of feel like how a ninja would look, like with smoke bombs, not just actual, like not all sorts of stuff, like smoke bombs, teleporting, stuff. I admit the buzzsaw can be kind of what the fuck. Like, but that's kind of how I imagine a ninja, using nets, some tactics. Stuff out that kind of thing. Oh. Anyway. Uh. The funny thing is, um, when I was trying to pre order the combat stick, like the tournament edition, so I get the combat stick, I was at EV Games every day for a week. It got to the point where they just said, uh, where they recognized my name. It was funny. But wait, he doesn't kill him. One thing I'm kind of curious about is, is this fight. This fight should have still happened in Mortal Kombat One, but I'm wondering what did stop Cyrax then? Or yeah, a fight would have probably happened since he's hired to kill him. So but yeah, the woman in red in the background—that's Scarlet. You will come back to DLC number one. I eliminated him from the tournament. You didn't need to die. You have broken your oath. I use my judgment. Cyber Initiative will eliminate its subordination. We are not machines, Sector. I chose to serve them in a way, but I will not surrender my free will. Not easily, but... Fight! So yeah, this is an interesting fight. Sector and Cyrax. Now later on in the series, well, before everything got changed, they actually became rivals. Cyrax did leave the leaves the 
Cyrax actually did leave Ling Kuei for the special forces. And, I, and Sector starts his own clan of robot ninja assassins, no joke, called the Tekkenin. Tekkenin something. I'm not trying to pronounce it. But yeah, they become rivals, so... This is funny, because this is like the first fight. <laughs> I love it when they stand right on top of the bomb and do an animation where they can't Round skip. Two, Very useful. Uh, he really likes that uppercut. <sighs> I just really do like this game. It has blood, guts, good story, which is kind of rare in video games these days. One thing I find kind of funny is everyone's hating on Mass Effect 3 for its apparently shitty ending, but I kind of have a guess that if I were to play through all the games, like I haven't played through all the games, it's not that I didn't like them, it's just that the whole fact that everything you do affects everything else, it's a bit overwhelming for me, so I decided uh, not. Okay, what I'll do is I'll show the cutscene and then I'll stop the recording. Finished. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that if I played through all the games, I'd understand the ending and I'd actually even like it. Oh well. So yeah, last Ermac, chapter. I present this latest creation of Shao Kahn. Ermac. His, His name appeared on a roster as Error Macro, shortened Ermac. Ermac. So players saw that in the first game, and they're like, wondering, who the hell's Ermac? So they decided to make him a real character. He's kind of a badass, but who isn't? <laughs> so yeah, next recording session, Liu Kang versus Ermac. Anything you have fought before. Liu Kang! You are the sole Earthrealm warrior to progress to this fight! Say, so it's usually four fights per chapter, but... Some of them change for specific events. You are one. We will destroy you. <sighs> Not today. Fight. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, please leave any feedback or comments. I really like to know how I'm doing with Let's Plays. And make sure to check out my other content when I post it. This is Human Fleet 23 signing out. Bye.